In this problem, we're told the current world record motorcycle jump is 77 meters, set by Jason Rennie. Assume that he left the takeoff ramp at 12 degrees to the horizontal and that the takeoff and landing heights are the same. Neglecting air drag, determine his takeoff speed. So if we draw a diagram what's going on here. So we have this guy, he's going to be doing some motorcycle jump. And so he's leaving it at 12 degrees, right? So we imagine his jump's going to look something like this, right? So his ramp's going to be 12 degrees. So imagine he goes up like this. And so we know the jump or the distance of it is going to be 77 meters. So this right here is going to be 77 meters. So this is just a diagram of what's going on. Let's go ahead and write down our given. So what are we given? We're given that the distance, right, he goes is 77 meters. So our change in x, right, change in the x position is 77 meters. Right, you could also call this the range if you want, because uh, they're basically the same thing. And then the angle, which I'm just going to call theta in this case, is equal to 12 degrees. So he's going to be jumping at 12 degrees. And so this is our given. Now let's go ahead and solve. And so in order to solve this, you're going to use this formula. R, which is your range, which is basically delta x, is equal to u squared times the sine of 2 theta over g. So let me label what each thing is. So this is essentially delta x. u is going to be your initial velocity, or takeoff speed in this case, right? So your initial velocity. So that's what we're trying to solve for, right? So v sub 0. And then g is just going to be gravity. So basically 9.8 meters per second squared. And then theta is the angle. We already know that. And so let's just go ahead and plug everything in. And we can actually just solve for the initial velocity. So r, which is delta x, right? So 77 equals uh, u squared times the sine of 2 times our angle, right? Which is 12 degrees. So 2 times 12 is 24, over gravity, which is 9.8. So if we want to go ahead and solve, multiply both sides by 9.8, right? We're trying to get u by itself. So we'll have 9.8 times 77 equals u squared times the sine of 24. So if we divide both sides by the sine of 24, you'll get u squared equals 9.8 times 77 divided by the sine of 24. If we square both sides, that's going to get rid of the squared. So essentially, u is going to be equal to the square root of 9.8 times 77 divided by the sine of 24. So if you go ahead and do this, u will equal, plug it in your calculator, 43.07. And so keep in mind, this is going to be in meters per second, right? That's what velocity is measured in, and we're using meters. So meters per second. So you can round however you want. You can round to the whole number if you want. So 43 meters per second. But yeah, so that's going to be your... The, his takeoff speed, uh, the answer to this problem, and so hopefully you found this useful.